Good evening, everybody. My name is Ramaya Krishnan. I'm the Dean of the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy at Carnegie Mellon. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of you today, friends and family, distinguished faculty and staff uh, who are joining us today for this very special occasion as we celebrate our very own Alessandro Acquisiti, Rema Padman, and Rahul Talan. We also extend a special welcome to Alessandro's wife, Priya, Shah, and their families, Rema's mom, Ratnam, sister Sudha, our daughter Divya and son Deepak, and many friends and family members. Rahul's wife, Ashwini Gandhi, their children, Shomik and Shivam, and family members. The Heinz College is a center of excellence on campus in addressing societal problems using an innovative combination of analytics, social science, and technology. The three extraordinary faculty members we are recognizing tonight conduct research of this very sort, and each has made outstanding individual contributions to Carnegie Mellon's and their, to Carnegie Mellon and their chosen fields. The awarding of professorships is one important way for us at the college and at the university to demonstrate the importance we place on scholarship and impact. It's actually among the most fun things and most enjoyable things I have as Dean to do. And as it allows us in an exciting and meaningful way to celebrate the achievements and accomplishments of our faculty. Even some of you in the audience who know our honorees well may not know the full extent of the impact they've had. For those family and friends who are not in academics, the awarding of a professorship is a big deal. So if it's your mom, dad, uncle, aunt, spouse, this is that is receiving this award tonight, be sure to congratulate them. This is a very well-deserved honor for all three of these scholars, as individuals certainly, but for everyone present here today from our college community, I want you to consider this. To have one trustees professorship to award would be reason enough for us to celebrate. Uh, but to have three is uniquely special and something I believe should be a source of pride for all of Heinz College. Alessandro, Rahul, and Rema, we salute you for your achievement and for your service. So I'd now like to um, have our provost, Jim Garrett, address us. But before that, I'd like to thank Jim Garrett for his support of the Heinz College and for his outstanding leadership of the university. I'd also like to thank our former dean and provost emeritus, Mark Camlet, for his role in our ceremonies this evening. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome to the virtual podium, Carnegie Mellon University's provost, Jim Garrett. Jim, the floor is yours. Thank you, Krishnan, uh, and good evening, everyone. I also would like to uh, express my appreciation to Krishnan for the inspired leadership of the Heinz College that uh, he has really um, provided uh, for uh, more than a decade. And I really do wanna uh, uh, shout him out for his leadership. Thank you very much. Um, and I echo Krishnan's thanks to all of you for joining us today for this important event. As provost, celebrating our endowed chairs across the university, it, like what Krishnan said, is an honor that I cherish and it's, it is among the most fun things I get to do as provost and Mark knows what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, today, it's my pleasure to recognize three outstanding faculty members from our Heinz College, uh, doctors Alessandro Aquisti, Rema Padman and Rahul Tolan. This is an important day for Alessandro, Rema and Rahul who are being recognized for the impact that their work has brought to the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy. We're pleased that uh, so many members of our honorees, friends and family are in attendance today. And we're also glad that you're able to join us. And I'll add my appreciation uh, to Krishnan's to uh, our former provost, uh, Mark Camlet, uh, for being a part of this ceremony. We do have to take care of our provosts. Um, each of our recipients is being honored with a trustee professorship in their field. 
and we're thrilled to celebrate their distinguished work in the areas of information technology and public policy, management science and healthcare informatics, and information systems. Our trustees chairs were established by the Heinz College to honor members of the faculty for extraordinary scholarly achievements. Each of our recipients today has met and surpassed the selection criteria through their outstanding work. Endowed professorships are among the highest academic honors that the university can bestow on a member of our faculty. Broadly, they allow Carnegie Mellon to support and recognize world-class faculty members, and they strengthen our reputation as a university poised at the forefront of research, creativity, and discovery in critical areas. With their endowed professorships, our faculty recipients will have access to resources that can be used to expand their research endeavors, to continue to generate impactful work in their fields, and to strengthen our foundation in interdisciplinary education. Carnegie Mellon's Heinz College is consistently recognized internationally as a center of innovation and academic excellence. By training the next generation of innovators, our faculty contribute to solving real world problems and improving the way people live and work. In short, they do the work that matters. Alessandro, Rema, and Rahul represent the celebrated and distinguished group of experts in the Heinz College who contribute to Carnegie Mellon's stellar reputation. As these professorships recognize and reward our exceptional faculty, we continue to promote and recognize excellence in teaching and research across Carnegie Mellon. In closing, Alessandro, Rema, and Rahul, please accept my sincere congratulations on this important milestone in each of your careers. I certainly look forward to learning about your future, about your future accomplishments uh, in, as, as uh, we move forward. Now, I turn it back over to Krishnan to continue the program. Krishnan. Thank you so much uh, for, your, for your remarks. And thank you again for joining us for this celebration. I know it means a lot to me and for, to today's honorees uh, that you're here. You've always been uh, both a tremendous colleague and a supporter of the Heinz College. My pleasure. Um, which brings us to our first um, um, awardee for the uh, Carnegie Mellon University Trustees Professorship this evening, I'm delighted to introduce Alessandro Acquisiti. I take special pride to introduce Alessandro tonight, having recruited uh, to have him come to Heinz and CMU back in 2003 after receiving his PhD uh, at, uh, at Berkeley in Information Management and Systems. Doing justice to Alessandro's contributions in a few short minutes, um, is a tall order. So Alessandro is a scholar who in effect has created a new field, which is the behavioral economics of privacy. So I thought it might be better to start with this impact. The New York Times dedicated multiple pages to Alessandro in an extended profile titled, Letting Down Our Guard with Web Privacy in 2013. Alessandro has appeared in 60 Minutes and a TED Talk on privacy and human behavior has been downloaded um, more than a million times. His work on the predictability of social security numbers that were mined from death records led to the US Social Security Administration to change the way social security numbers are assigned. Security education research has developed with, that he developed with colleagues at Carnegie Mellon was deployed in the CMU startup Wombat Securities uh, which was later acquired by Proofpoint. So before becoming a, a professor, Alessandro was an actual rock star. He worked as a music producer and a label manager, a freelance uh, arranger, lyrics writer, and a soundtrack composer for theater, television, and indie cinema productions, he was also a competitive motorcycle racer. Well, those are all very impressive accomplishments to be sure, I think I speak for all of us that we are thrilled that he actually chose to enter academia because his scholarly contributions have established him as a different kind of rock star. Alessandro's research in, at Carnegie Mellon is very much, is very CMU-esque in that its focus is on real problems and it's multidisciplinary. It combines economics, behavioral economics and data mining to investigate individual and societal trade-offs 
associated with the collection of consumer data, as well as the way individuals make decisions about those trade-offs. His work is published in a variety of fields, from information systems to marketing, from economics to computer science, and from policy to legal studies. He's among the most widely cited scholars in the privacy field and in information systems. Alessandro leads a number of research centers at CMU, but one I wish to highlight uh, is the PwC Center. Um, Alessandro was the inaugural director of the PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, Digital Transformation and Innovation Center at CMU. I'm very grateful to him for the work uh, that he did in leading and standing up that center. Uh, Alessandro has been the recipient of many awards, but to name just a few, he received the PET Award for Outstanding Research in Privacy Enhancing Technologies, the IBM Best uh, Faculty Award in, in Privacy, and the IEEE Cybersecurity Award for Innovation, and he's also an inaugural Andrew Carnegie Scholar. As you might expect, He's testified before committees in the United States Senate and House on issues related to privacy policy and consumer behavior, and has consulted extensively on policy for government bodies, including the White House Council of Economic Advisors and the Federal Trade Commissions. But most important of all, he's an award-winning instructor. He's the recipient of the Heinz College Teaching Excellence Award. So it gives me great, great pleasure to award Alessandro Acquisiti the trustees professorship in information technology and public policy. Alessandro, will you please share a few words with us? Uh, thank you, Dean Krishnan and Provost Garrett. Uh, thank you for your support and your words. I'm, uh, I'm honored to receive this professorship and particularly delighted of doing so with my esteemed colleagues and friends, Rema and Rahul. Uh, I'm deeply grateful to the trustees for making this possible. Um, I've always felt that make possible is not just a slogan, a CMU, um, but the reality on the ground of a place that allows, in fact, encourages an astonishingly open spirit of research and collaboration, a freedom to tinker across uh, disciplinary boundaries. Uh, it is a freedom that I embrace with passion and that I try to pass on to my young students so that they could go on with their own think, tinkering. Um, I'll offer a few examples of that. And in so doing, I will try to express my gratitude to the students, mentors, collaborators, colleagues, funders at Heinz across CMU, whom over the years I had the fortune of working with and to whom I owe this uh, recognition tonight. So I came here to CMU as a microeconomist, or at least I had been trained as such, uh, learning about economics from uh, several mentors through the years. In my dissertation, I started applying economics to an unusual field, the economics of privacy, the investigation of the complex trade-offs that individuals and societies face in negotiating the boundaries of public and private. CMU and Heinz in particular were the ideal destination for the type of interdisciplinary research. And so I came here. As I kept working in the field, I became aware of the need to expand our models of privacy decision making and started branching out into behavior research. I had the fortune of learning from and collaborating with uh, some of the best minds in the field right here at CMU. And so we venture into a behavioral economics of privacy, uh, attempted to uncover the hurdles that consumers face in making privacy decisions online. And this, in turn, led me to the investigation of online social networks. A PhD student in my privacy class told me about the Facebook when at the time it was just a few months old. And yet its uh, appearance foretold an epochal drift in privacy issues online. So we went on to write several papers together at the intersection of privacy, social media, and data mining. And that led to many other papers in collaboration with students, as well as with uh, colleagues in computer science at CMU. Now, to 
take a very brief excursus. In a previous life, uh, before academia, I had aspirations of becoming a writer. And I, I recall sending out a manuscript to a publisher. And to this day, I remember his response. He chose not to publish my manuscript, but he also sent me a note which hit 20 year old me deeply. Uh, it, try, he said, not to avoid making mistakes. I took that counterintuitive advice at heart, the willingness to take risk, uh, perhaps even recklessly so, as over the years, I engaged in projects that were often more complex than they were safe. But I was fortunate to have even braver students and collaborators. And we were lucky. Some projects did not come through, but others did. And this privacy and personal data became so central to everything we do in the last uh, two decades, we found ourselves right in the eye of the storm, studying it from, from the inside. It's been a ride and it's not over yet. And, and I would like to name some of the students, uh, Idris, Jim, uh, Laura, Leslie, Lee, Ralph, Sasha, Sonam, Veronica, Eduardo, Jessica, Logan, Cristobal, Alisa, Brett, Eyal, Florian, Fred, Ryan, um, as a way to also thank and remember all my collaborators. I feel gratitude that I stumbled upon a field that gave me the opportunity to dedicate my life to something I find that simultaneously timely and universal. I feel gratitude to have been blessed with a wonderful family who is still in me the values that carry me. My mother, Juzi, my father, Giancarlo, my sister, Antonella. With caring friends now spread out through many cities, but never distant. And with my love and my companion, Priya, who made me realize what was missing in my life and then gave it to me. And I feel gratitude for the privilege of doing all of this here at CMU in the place with its uh, astonishingly open spirit of research that made this possible. I thank you all. Thank you so much, Alessandro. And now we're gonna do a, a little bit of a Zoom innovation, which means I'd like each of you to unmute yourselves uh, and a round of applause for Alessandro, please. So following up on that Zoom innovation. Um, so next up, I'd like to um, request um, our um, uh, university professor, provost emeritus, and former dean of the Heinz College, Mark Camblett, um, to introduce our second honoree this evening, Professor Rema Padman. Mark, take it away. Thank you, Krishnan. So really a pleasure and an honor for me to have the opportunity to introduce Professor Rema Padman as she formally receives this trustee's professorship of management, science, and health informatics. In my experience, it's always a little bit um, of a challenge because of the shortness to do justice to someone who is, as, who is professionally as accomplished as someone like Rema. This is particularly the case for Professor Padman because she has risen to the absolute top ranks of not one, but of two complementary but different fields. Professor Padman's training in her PhD program, which was at the University of Texas at Austin, was centered around management science. And for her PhD thesis, she worked on a notable large applied production planning and distribution problem. This thesis in turn served as a powerful launching pad for the research which characterized her shall I say, first research career here at the Heinz College. Based on that work, she won, among other recognitions, the Franz Edelman Award, which is the most prestigious management science award for innovative and impactful research in the field. With all this having been accomplished within her first 10 years here, she decided to pivot and move into and help invent and define another field now known as medical informatics. I first knew of this personally because she came by my office in 1998 when I was dean to let me know that she had won a highly prestigious, and it was highly prestigious, 
Biomedical Informatics Fellowship from the National Institutes of Health and wished to take a leave from her normal high school activities to retool herself in the new field. Of course, in 1998, there was no cloud. There were no health apps. There were no smartphones on which to put the non-existent health apps. There were no modern electronic health record systems. There was no e-health. There was no M-Health, nor anything like the kind of telemedicine that is now coming into being. In retrospect, it's not surprising that healthcare informatics has emerged as one of the singularly most important research areas today out of all of the healthcare and healthcare management subfields. But at the time, those things would have been very hard, one would be very hard pressed to have predicted that this field would emerge as it did. And Professor Padman was one of the pioneers in putting the field on the map. In her new field, Professor Padman was able to develop, apply and evaluate models in which she was able to draw from an incredible range of skills that she has, brought, that she's able to bring to the table, ranging from optimization and machine learning and statistics to risk analysis, data-driven decision support, and behavioral sciences. She's been awarded significant research grants during this second career from a variety of funders with publications in virtually all of the top journals in her space and with more best paper awards than I can list here. For this work, she's been elected as a fellow of the American Medical Informatics Association. And she's been named as one of the most influential women in the entire field. Within the Heinz College, Professor Padman has been similarly energetic. She has served as a mentor to countless number of PhD students. She's been a, a, a standing instructor for our master's students and has been the recipient of both of the Heinz College's outstanding teacher awards, the Emil Limbach Award and the Mark C. Wade Teaching Awards. Obviously, one of the hallmarks of Professor Padman's academic career has been a unique ability to cross boundaries, bringing rigor and methodological depth to important new areas. I would like to think that Carnegie Mellon and the Heinz College have been uniquely a uniquely encouraging institution in supporting such efforts. And certainly, Professor Padman has been a prime example of what an extraordinary individual can accomplish in this environment. It is my privilege to introduce the Trustees Chair Professorship in Management Science and Healthcare Informatics, Professor Rema Patton. Thank you for that very kind introduction, Mark. <clears throat> in one way or another, you've been there at all the big milestones in my CMU career. <laughs> you were dean, as you mentioned, you were dean when I received tenure, and, and, and you also said, go do it. When I accepted the NIH fellowship at, uh, at Pitt a few months later uh, to pursue healthcare informatics research. And then today at this special professorship event. So thank you for your support over the years. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly honored and humbled to receive the trustees professorship in management science and healthcare informatics. And I thank all of you, uh, family, friends, colleagues, staff, students and trustees who have both who have been both the inspiration and the support I have relied on for this to happen. I'm grateful for access to the rich and uniquely collaborative and interdisciplinary environment at CMU and Heinz College that has had a huge impact on my choices regarding the problems I work on, the colleagues I partner with, the students I mentor and the collaborations I'm able to leverage. My swerve from mainstream operations research to this interdisciplinary field of healthcare informatics, analytics and operations has enabled me to collaborate with many visionary healthcare partners, both in the US and abroad, and also contribute to an explosively growing area that I can be truly passionate about. I have enjoyed and benefited from every one of these engagements and thank all of you for these amazing relationships. 
My father's dream had been for me to join India's prestigious administrative services or IAS. But when I received admission to one of the IITs to study engineering, he and my mother sent me off with all their blessings to travel almost 2,500 kilometers over three days each way by train every semester for five years. And the same when I came to the US for graduate studies. While my father, father passed away many years ago, I am truly delighted to have my 90 year old mother join us today to give her blessings and share the joy this recognition has given her. I'm happy to note that she got her second COVID vaccine this morning, reminding us all of the serious healthcare challenges facing our society these days. I'm also excited to uh, have my siblings, extended family and dearest friends join from India, New York, Arizona, New, uh, Nevada and Minnesota to celebrate this event with me, Krishnan and our children. And I'm thankful for their lifelong, lifelong support and encouragement. Last but not least are my heartfelt thanks to Krishnan and our children Divya and Deepak who have kept me anchored, motivated and inspired to pursue my career goals and interests as husband, friend, colleague and advisor. And despite the many daily squabbles at home, and, and believe me, we do have many, uh, Krishnan has made it easy for us to build a strong family partnership that has resulted in today's recognition. I could not have done any of this without his full support. For that and much more, he has my warmest admiration and affection for the rest of our lives. I'm excited about being able to use the resources of this chair to continue my work with colleagues, my amazing students, and the incredible partner organizations on important healthcare challenges in the post-pandemic world using analytics and information technologies. Thank you all very much for this honor. Thank you so much, Rema. And once again, uh, if everybody will join us, uh, unmute yourself. <laughs> so now it is um, my turn to uh, introduce Rahul Telang, our third honoree for the trustees professorship. It's an absolute privilege to introduce uh, Rahul Talang. Rahul has been with CMU since his days as a student, getting, completing his PhD at the Tepper School. And for those of you who are from CMU, you might think, hey, how hard would it have been to recruit Rahul to just cross the street and come to Heinz from the Tepper School? But you'd be wrong. Rahul was a a star from the word go. So we, have to fight, we had to fight very, very hard to get him to come. But rarely has a fight been more worth it. I'm thrilled that not only did he choose to keep his talents here at CMU and come to Heinz, but we're here tonight awarding him this important trustees professorship. To give you some context into how innovative and important Rahul's work has yeah. been, when he started his academic career, two phenomena were happening in our economy simultaneously. First, information security was in a nascent stage and software flaws and security incidents were garnering na national attention. They actually are continuing to do so even today. While this was a key area of work in engineering, Rahul brought a very different and new approach. He was asking important questions about the economic impact, asking questions like why were software vendors building buggy products to begin with? How should we deal with software flaws that can cause significant damage? And what policies are required to improve the security of software products? The output of this work resulted in multiple awards, the NSF Career Award and NSA Award, multiple briefings to Congress, the FTC, and the Council on Foreign Relations. The second phenomenon 
that is playing out at this time was the digitization of media, including books, songs, and movies. And that is beginning to upend traditional business models. These issues of digitization, issues of economic efficiency, were asked the question of how is this affecting copyright became fundamental and important questions. Piracy was becoming a huge challenge for music and movie industries. Rahul's work measured the impact of digitization and piracy on copyright and incentives of producers and consumers. This led to really important grants from the Alfred, Alfred Sloan Foundation, Google, Amazon, Warner Brothers, and a program of work on the digital transformation of the entertainment industry. Here at CMU, he directs the Seeding Societal Futures Trust of the Block Center for Technology and Society. He's co-directed a center, which he's actually stood up from the ground up uh, with a colleague, Mike Smith, called the Initiative for Digital Entertainment Analytics idea for the last eight years. And then he's written a, a, a popular book, Streaming, Sharing, Stealing, Big Data and the Future of Entertainment, which, is, which highlights the role of streaming services on traditional studios. And it's become an immediate bestseller and a must read for all leaders in the industry. Rahul works very closely with policymakers and with industry groups like the RIA and the MPA, the movie studios and firms like Google. On top of all of this, Rahul was uh, formerly the director of our PhD program at Heinz. And in this capacity, his impact is truly uh, you know, immeasurable. He has done an outstanding job with our PhD students, helping many over the years, not just his own, but many over the years, becoming leading scholars and faculty members in their own right. So it gives me a, a tremendous pleasure to award the trustees professorship in information systems uh, to Professor Rahul Pilan. Rahul, will you please share a few words with us? Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Jim. Thank you, Krishnan, for this honor for uh, selecting me for this chair. I really appreciate that. Uh, and congratulations to Rama and Alessandro. I have worked with you guys. I know how smart you are, but I also know that you are amazingly good human beings. And thank you so much. Um, you know, I should take the five minutes telling you about all the exciting work I've done or I have planned to do, but I'm going to spend some time just showing gratitude. So many people have helped me, especially with what I went through. I think it's really important that I say thank you to a lot of you. So let me start first by saying, you know, my mom, you know, who is right now in California, uh, you know, I grew up in a small town in India and to go from the, there to here, it's kind of amazing. I find it hard to believe, believe myself. And I know that my parents really sacrificed a lot to get me there. So thank you so much. <clears throat> then I had to thank Krishnan, you know, when I joined, he was a senior faculty member but he always had time. He involved me on the projects. He paved the path for me to reach where, I'm, 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 where I am. And all of you know that he's a dean, that how lucky we are, him as a dean. So, so thank you, Krishnan. Uh, I graduated from Tepper School, which, is G, which was GSIA, as Krishnan mentioned. And Tridas was my advisor. And one thing I learned from him, is how to be an independent scholar and never settle for something for convenience. And they have paid a rich dividend over time. And I hope that I can inculcate the same to my students when they graduate. So thank you to you. Um, you know, as, as Christian mentioned, when I was, you know, on the job market, uh, you know, I chose high school and I cannot, I cannot say more thank you that I, I made the right decision only because Heinz School and CMU is a place which has a collection of amazing, accomplished uh, faculty member, but also very collegial. It allows you to discuss your ideas with people who are in different fields. 
and that makes the whole thing so much more exciting that makes your work so much more deep and much more interesting so thank you to all people here it's really really uh, you know amazing uh, of course i worked with many of you you know ashish arora who is in duke now mike smith sundar kekre and all of you have been so generous so kind so caring i mean i really enjoyed our discussion um you know same with uh, you know our staff here it's emily kristen uh, gretchen i mean it's really a joy to work with all of you so thank you so much um i was a phd chair as kristen mentioned and i i know our phd students are so smart and you know i owe my success to them too i work with them i i realize how smart they are when i look myself when i was there and their shoes i see a, like a sea change and it's really great um uh, as you all think that we all want to get this pandemic to be over we want to meet face to face especially me because last two years really were rough for me you know first as many of you know i had a very freak accident and then last year my mother really had a new one health so really i want to you know come move on and especially with the accident i really think i should move on but i can because i feel or i the more i read about it how serious my accident was i could have died or i have survived and recovered so much itself is quite amazing and lot of credit actually goes to my wife ashwini you know she has been a rock in our family she's an actual doctor so she knows in and out and the recovery is so slow and patience is really not my virtue and she has played an amazing role you know we all talk about a life partner plays a big role in our success in my case my life partner actually saved my life and made me recover so i really thank that ashwini chose to marry me and not somebody else so thank you ashwini same same thing with my with my kids you know shamik and shivam you know their life got appended too at the time and most people would have caved in you know they had this amazing res resilience they were able to take it on their chin and basically move on i mean these are things you don't learn in school i mean these are the things so i'm so proud of them i'm so happy that they are my kids you know same thing with my sisters i mean they have been so supportive so proud of me always helpful you know my in law all i can say is that i have got amazing family i got this amazing family support and that all made it possible for me to basically you know deal with the with the injury uh and last but not the least i got this amazing set of friends i know i can rely on them and more importantly they're not from academia so they always keep me on ground so thank you so much i'm hoping to meet you all in person pretty soon thank you krishna rahul uh thank you for um this wonderful set of remarks um and i i think i say this on behalf of everybody at heinz and in the community we were all praying for your recovery and we are so pleased uh that you're back in the saddle and asking challenging questions on identification and econometric analysis mm -hmm. of everybody and uh it's wonderful to see you uh full of uh, spirit and i also want to uh thank uh, ashwini and everybody in your family it's uh it's wonderful to be here celebrating this occasion both for the chair but for all the reasons that you just mentioned so if everybody could unmute and uh join uh, me in uh, congratulating rahul yes so um folks um i want to thank um each and every one of you for joining us in today's celebration and as i noted at the top of the program recognizing members of our community for their accomplishments is one of the great pleasures of this job of being dean and it's a wonderful reason to come together to celebrate and not only the outstanding achievements uh, of our colleagues uh, of, but to really reaffirm um what makes this place special right rahul mentioned this i think this is one of the most amazing things about heinz and about cmu is the sense of collegiality and the sense of community that we have and i think each and every one of the three honorees today uh, they are really all stars of the heinz college and if you reflect on what you heard about 
you know, what you heard about them in their introductions, the breadth of their accomplishments, as well as uh, the diversity of their scholarship and the impact that they've had. It's a really a reminder uh, of who we are as an institution. And I'm very proud of not only the three honorees today, but of each and every one of you, faculty and staff that has made this place special. Um, so now I'd like to have everybody join me in a toast. So I hope you have your glasses ready. Um, so let me, I hope you can see my glass here, mm -hmm. right there, all right. Um, so um, Alessandro, Rahul, and Rema, a toast to you, your continued success, good health, Godspeed, and continued productivity and outstanding accomplishments. You're here. Yes. Thank you. Toast to you all too. Folks, um, thank you for joining us at today's event. We're going to leave this um, this meeting open for uh, several minutes. Um, Katie is uh, helping us manage this. Um, so if, um, in case anybody has, they would like to say something to our honorees, you could use the chat feature. Uh, thanks and have a wonderful evening. Take care. Yeah, thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Congrats, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Congrats, Congrats to you. Congrats to all our honorees. And thanks to Shreyansh and um, Katie and Danny, terrific job, and John Nelson. Thank you so much for all your good work on this. <laughs>